It's never fun when Bitcoin breaks support, when you're long and it's an uptrend. It would be much nicer if support always holds, like this one yesterday. Then no one needs to get stressed, we just watch our money go up in a straight line. Unfortunately, markets are rarely that nice. If this was easy, everyone could do it. It's not. The market right now is exactly like CZ tweeted here. Slept for four hours, woke up to Silicon Valley Bank troubles, US New York Attorney General sues KuCoin, White House wants 30% tax on mining electricity, who be token flash crash, crypto prices dip, and then the first comment is that also Department of Justice trying to block the Voyager acquisition. And that was just the bad news in one day. Four hours. And it's been like this almost every single day for a long time. A seemingly never ending stream of bad news. And it's not just in crypto. It's in the markets in general. As you recall, a few months ago the market here thought that there would only be one more 25 point rate hike from this point onwards. So one more step. Now the market thinks we will get a 50 point hike from 450, 475 to 500 to 525 already now in March. So two steps. Then another step in May, 525 to 550. And a few hours ago today this bar, meaning the percentage of people who think Think that we will get even one more was actually higher than the current one. So instead of getting one more step, the market now thinks we will get three or perhaps even four more steps. The S&P 500 had an ugly rejection at resistance here in early February, which is seemingly following through. The DXY or the dollar strength index keeps making new highs here and DXY up usually means risk on assets down. So everything looking garbage. And then on top of that Bitcoin mega dumps. Okay, I don't know what the market will do tomorrow, but I can tell you this. I can tell you one sure way to fail and three things that you can do to succeed. How to fail is easy. Just pack up and mentally log off at this stage of the markets. Most people stop paying attention to the markets here. I can see that in the lack of engagement on YouTube, Twitter and lack of interest to study investing. When they mentally log out, they stop cutting their losers. The losing trades become long term investments and they will stop buying when there is a correct entry. If you ask them, they could identify that it is a good risk reward entry, but they are no longer interested, so they don't take action on it. Then these people will FOMO back in when everyone is talking about it again when most of the price appreciation has already happened. People enter the market at the euphoria top and then they quit at the depression bottom. So instead of buying low and selling high, they buy high and sell low. This is the most common mistake. If you can just avoid doing that one mistake, you're already ahead of the vast majority of retail traders or investors. So how to succeed? If you can just have a system and be able to stick to it through the market cycle, you will outperform almost all of those people. That's just a statistical mathematical fact. I also felt upset when this support broke here yesterday. I have Bitcoin exposure. I don't like seeing it go down. I would have preferred to clear this whole area first and then have some retracement. But I will do exactly what I've said I will do in previous videos. You can go back and check it and see that I've actually said it. My ideal scenario from here is that the next support holds at about 18,600. Perhaps there will be some fake below, but then go back up because then this becomes an inverse head and shoulder. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. And then this point when the support seems to hold and the breakout from the neckline would be insanely good risk reward. That would be some of the highest confidence entries I've seen in years. That would be great. Then I'm going to take some leveraged entries actually. The second alternative is the scenario I described in this Wyckoff video, which is that the whale manipulators drive the price down below the previous low and then reverse it. When it is here below the low, you can't tell if that reversal is going to happen or not. Perhaps it's not, perhaps it's continuing down. But if it does, this point here would also be another stellar entry. 
in my opinion, and at even lower levels. But if that doesn't happen, if this doesn't hold, and Larsen line turns blue here, I will cut it. That's it. So that's the first thing you can do to succeed. Have a process and follow it. So if this fails here, will I cry then? No. It would suck, because then it became a losing trade. But here comes the second thing you can do to set yourself up for success, and that is position sizing. If you don't have position sizing in place, and especially if the system has worked great in the past, like Lars Online has done historically, that is just a fact. You will make perfect trades nine times in a row, and then lose everything the 10th time when it doesn't work out. So manage your position size, that will conserve both your money capital and your emotional capital, which you need to be able to stay in the game and not quit like the first group did. So to recap so far what you need. You need a process, tools, you need to follow it, you need to manage your position sizing. I try to cover all that in my course. Ah, you're just pushing your course. Yeah. I am, because success in the markets come from execution, risk management, from consistent action when action is due, and from having a system, a process. It doesn't come from predicting the future of markets. The indicator, large online here, is just a tool. But if you don't understand how to use it, it won't help you. I'm trying, guys, to give you what you need, but I can't do it for you. But then I think you need a third thing also to survive in these crazy markets. Something which I haven't talked about much on this channel. I think you need friends. You need a network of like-minded people who are actually trying to help each other. And that's not Twitter, which is either hopium peddling or straight up misinformation to try to get you to sell when they are buying or vice versa. Managing a Discord server isn't easy and this isn't perfect. But just now, Roy wrote in our Discord. The Lotion Line process is a very good foundation to have, but in my opinion this chat group is worth what I pay for itself. So I would say I feel the course was for free. Being in a group where majority are looking to invest trade with good risk reward and with logic, this has a lot of value. And it's rare. DJF couldn't agree more, I learned so much from all of you, indeed. Thank you guys. Right now, the price for the course in Bitcoin is 0.12 BTC. At current price, say 20,000, that is $2,400, while price is supposed to be $2,000. $888. So right now you're actually getting a $500 discount if paying in Bitcoin. I don't intend to have any discounts, so I need to adjust the price from 0.12 to 0.145 BTC so that this price becomes the same as this price. But I will leave this price at 0.12 BTC for 24 hours after posting this video. I don't do discounts because I feel it's disrespectful to everyone else who paid full price. But I feel this can be fair. You're paying the same in BTC as those who paid last week. But it's a discount in dollar terms. Other cryptocurrencies are also possible. Then if you're gonna take this, please, please, please don't fall for the scammers in the comments. Type the URL yourself. It's www.ctolarson.com. So if you've thought about it, maybe now could be a good time to level up your game and get ready for the bull market. Because the one thing I can guarantee you is that markets won't go down forever. Blockchain is a fundamental discovery. It's not a gimmick that will disappear. But the movements in price will continue to be crazy in both directions. Because there is no fundamental valuation to lean back on. I don't know if price will turn here or here or at some other level. But I know this. When it does turn around, not many people will buy there after the bottom is in. And the trend has turned up. But I will. And you can too. Thank you, Tak. City of Larsen out. Hey, though.